Want to create eye-catching social media posts for Amazon products? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design a stunning post for a headphone using simple yet effective techniques. Whether you're promoting a product or running an ad, this design will grab attention and boost engagement. So let's jump into Photoshop and start designing. We'll use a 1080 by 1080 pixel document for the best results. First, let's set up guides for perfect alignment. Select the rectangle tool, click anywhere on the canvas, and set both the width and height to 68 pixels. Then hit OK. Next, we'll align the rectangle to the top left corner. Select the entire canvas, choose the Move tool, and align it perfectly to the top left. Now select the Path Selection tool, right-click on the shape, and choose New Guides from Shape to create precise alignment guides. Repeat the same process for the bottom right corner. Move the shape there, right-click, and select New Guides from Shape to add the guides. Right now that the guides are set, deselect the canvas and delete the shape to keep the workspace clean. Next, let's embed the headphone image. Go to File, click on Place Embedded, then select and insert the PNG headphone image into the canvas. Go to the Layers panel and select the background layer. Use the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle at the bottom, then set the corner radius to match mine for a refined look. Make sure the rectangle layer is selected in the Layers panel. Then click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Gradient to enhance the design. Click on the Gradient panel, open the Basic menu, and select the first gradient. For a balanced look, pick two colors from your product, one lighter and one darker, to create a smooth and professional gradient. Hit OK to return to the panel. To refine the gradient, check Dither for a smoother blend and select Reverse if needed to swap the gradient direction. Finally, click OK to apply the changes. To apply the gradient inside the rectangle, right-click on the gradient layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Go to File, click on Place Embedded, then select and insert the texture into the canvas. Right-click on the texture layer and select Create Clipping Mask to apply it inside the rectangle. Then change the blending mode to Multiply and adjust the opacity to give it a subtle, lighter touch. Select the headphone layer, then resize and position it properly. Make it slightly larger for a more balanced and impactful composition. Choose the pen tool to create a path around the left part or head of the headphone for precise selection. Convert the path into a selection. Ensure the headphone layer is selected, then duplicate it for further adjustments. Select the headphone layer again and move it above the background layer for proper layering. Select the duplicated headphone layer, then go to the Effects menu and choose Blending Options. Enable Drop Shadow and adjust the settings as I guide you. Well, you can see the shadow appears on top of the headphone. We'll fix it by creating a clipping mask, ensuring it stays within the shape for a cleaner look. Select the background layer, then use the Rectangle tool to create a new rectangle behind the headphone. After that, give the corner the same radius as we give to the bottom rectangle. Duplicate the texture and gradient layers, place them above the new rectangle, and create a clipping mask to apply them inside the shape. Feel free to adjust the texture and gradient settings to refine the look and enhance the overall design. Select the background layer again, then use the Rectangle tool to create a new rectangle, matching the size and placement as mine. Give it the same corner radius as we gave to the other two rectangles. Repeat the process. Select the texture and gradient layers, hold Alt to duplicate them, place them above the newly created rectangle, and apply a clipping mask. Select the headphone layer, Duplicate it, then flip it horizontally. Create a clipping mask inside the newly created rectangle 
and reduce the opacity for a subtle effect. Select all the layers, group them, and rename the group for better organization. Select the Type tool, then type your text. Follow my instructions for the text settings to ensure a perfect look. Now adjust the text for proper alignment and placement. Once done, duplicate the text layer and increase its size. Position this larger text behind the headphone to create depth. Finally, reduce its opacity for a subtle background effect. After that, we will create a button, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Disable the fill, enable the stroke and adjust its thickness for a clean outline look. Next, bring this button to the top completely. Now type the button text using the type tool. Follow my settings for the font, size, and character adjustments to ensure a polished look. Position the text properly inside the button, then adjust its alignment to ensure everything is perfectly balanced. Duplicate the button, move it to the right side, and update the inner text to buy now for the final touch. Duplicate the existing text layer and update the text to $87 to display the product price. Make sure to adjust its position and size for a well-balanced layout. Organize the design by grouping related text layers accordingly. Rename each group properly to keep the workspace clean and easy to navigate. Continue fine-tuning the positions of all elements to ensure a balanced and visually appealing composition. At the end, select the Type tool and add the text. Follow along with my adjustments, including rotation, positioning, and styling to achieve the perfect look. Finally, select the top layer, go to the Adjustment Layer menu, and choose Brightness and Contrast. Adjust the contrast to see how it enhances the overall design making the elements stand out beautifully. If you want to change the color of your design, go to the Adjustment Layer menu and select Hue and Saturation. Adjust the Hue slider to explore different color variations and see how your design looks in other tones. So guys, that's it for today. If you learned something new, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.